Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is another what sold on eBay video and it's a little bit different today. Everything that I'm going to be showing you has been stuff that I bought this year at garage sale. So over the last three weeks or so since garage sale season started and that I have sold between that time and now. So you're going to see a lot of these things. You've probably seen them in my past pickup videos and stuff. So these items should be fresh in your minds and this should give you a good idea of stuff that is actually selling on eBay that's flipping fast and for items that you can look out for yourselves when you're out garage selling. Now as always this is not everything that is sold for me on eBay this is just a good selection of items. I have 18 of them picked out for you so with that being said let's hop right into the video. And here's the first item we're going to talk about today. This is that Proto SLG paintball marker that I picked up. Paintball stuff can sell really well, especially right now in the spring and summer seasons. People are out playing, people want to upgrade their gear, and this is the kind of stuff that you want to look for when you're looking at outdoor equipment. If you see paintball stuff, look it up because some of it is worth some very good money, others is worth nothing. So it's definitely one of those niches that you kind of want to fill out and study. But if you do see a proto paintball gun, it's probably worth picking up. You can find the guns, the barrels, anything like that that says proto on it. You can see up here on the neck of the gun, it says proto. And back there on the back, it says it has a P. That's the symbol that you want to look for. If you find anything by them, it's probably going to be a good seller. And as I said, I picked this up in a bundle in that video. I think I paid like 30, 35 bucks and this sold for $140 and it only took about a week to sell. So this was a great pickup and it's definitely something that you might be able to find at your own garage sales. Next up here we have a pair of Scarpa men's hiking shoes. Now these are like trail runner shoes. I actually didn't know Scarpa made like trail running and hiking shoes before I found these. I knew the brand through climbing gear. If you see climbing gear or climbing shoes that are by Scarpa, they are also something to pick up. But these ones are trail running shoes, which I thought was interesting. I knew the brand was hot, so I wasn't too worried about it. I actually only paid a dollar for these at a little um, community church sale thing. And they sold for the full price of $55. And it took about two weeks to sell. I had a couple of different offers on them, nothing that I wanted to take. And it eventually just sold for full price after about two weeks. Scarpa is just a good brand to look for. Like I said, look for the trail running stuff like this and the climbing gear. The climbing gear will also do well. Next up here we have some of those manga sets. Now a few of you guys asked me what manga was and why I was picking up these books at that little church sale. Well basically what manga is is like Japanese comic books. It's what anime is derived off of. Um, they're like graphic novels. There's a bunch of pictures inside. It tells a story just like a normal book would but they're in a series like a comic series would be. So this is a few different sets of different manga out there. It's a great thing to look for. A bunch of different series sell for some very, very good money. And these ones happen to be vintage ones, and that means they're harder to find. So a lot of these series have sold for some very good money. As you can see here, this was the first complete set. It was Kodot Kodocha, I think is how you say that. It was a set of 10 different books. Like I said, I paid 25 cents a piece, and it sold for the full price of $90 within two days of me listing it. Another manga set that sold, this was only the first through fifth book, so five different books, and this actually sold for a best offer of $69.95, and again, this sold within a week. So five books for $69, 70 bucks, you can't complain there. That This stuff was great to look for, and it's the stuff that you can find a lot, because people don't know um, what it is if they're selling it for their kid and stuff. You probably can get them pretty cheap. This is another one, Shaman King. This was a set of four different books, and you can see it sold for the full price of $40. And the last one is Sailor Moon books. These were like scout guides. They weren't exactly manga. They were more telling you about the different characters that was on the front of the cover. So these ones actually had a bunch of different bids on them or a bunch of different offers come in on them. Eventually, they ended up selling for the full price of $35. I had some offers of like $30 and stuff and I was just like pass 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 because eventually I knew someone was going to buy it full price. This stuff overall was a incredible score. I still have I think like four or five more sets that are listed right now. One of those sets is, is crazy if that ends up selling for what it should end up selling for and I'll show you guys at, at a later date but manga stuff is definitely something to look out for when you're out garage selling. 
Okay, this is a Apple iPod Nano, fifth generation. I picked this up at the same sale I picked up the paintball gun at. This sold the same exact day that I listed it, and I actually thought this was like a $20 to $30 model. Well, I looked it up, and that was just off the top of my head. I looked it up, and it ended up being a $50 model, and like I said, it sold within 24 hours of me listing. Fantastic score right there. Uh, again, I had like $35 into that whole lot, so this I probably paid like five bucks for, or, you know, something like that, and it just flips really fast. Now, on these old iPods and stuff, the one thing you do want to check is to make sure the battery is working well and that it holds a charge because it is something that people look for, and if you ship out something that doesn't hold a charge, you're probably going to get a return on it, so it's always best to check and make sure these things are working before you ship them out. Now I've picked up a lot of video game stuff. It's no secret that video game stuff sells. Everybody's looking for it. I'm sure all of you are looking for it when you're out at your own garage sales, but it wouldn't be a what's sold on eBay video if I didn't include some kind of video game thing that I found at a garage sale. But this is Super Mario All-Stars. I bought it for a buck, sold the same day for $30. Anything Mario from like the Wii or GameCube or pretty much any system is gonna make you some very good money. Mario stuff seems to like hold the value very well and it just, if you're new to video games and stuff, if you see Mario, it's probably worth buying. Here are those Maui Jim sunglasses that I picked up. Now, I was I was a little he hesitant on these. Um, I bought them because I got them for a really good price at $5, but Maui Jim and Ray-Ban and stuff like that are extremely, extremely faked brands, and you have to really look out and know what you're looking for. When I picked these up, I felt like they were quality, they felt pretty good, and after checking them out, the model number matched up, it pulled up this exact pair on their website and everything, and I was able to get into the detail shots and confirm everything was what it should be, so I listed these. I listed them a little bit lower, there were a few different pairs of the exact same pairs on eBay. I wanted to get the fast sale, so I, I listed them about five or 10 bucks lower than the current lowest on eBay, got $75 for them in about three, four days. So this was a fantastic thing to look for. If you don't know Maui Jim, it's one of those brands to remember. When you're looking at glasses, a lot of times people forget what they're worth or don't know what they're worth. Just make sure you know what you're looking for when you're picking them up. Make sure they feel quality, make sure they don't feel cheap, and make sure you are checking them out thoroughly if you're gonna sell them on eBay because they will take down your listing ASAP if it's a fake pair. All right, here we have those Every Drop Whirlpool refrigerator filters, which I think I picked six of them up for 25 bucks. It was a little weird. I had to list them individually. It wouldn't let me list like a multiple quantity listing for some reason on eBay. Not a big deal. I just had to make six, six separate listings, and each one of them sold for $35, and I sold out of them within three days. They were selling very, very fast. They're something that you can look for at pretty much any garage sale because Everybody has refrigerators that need filters nowadays. I'd relate them to like ink cartridges. They're on that level. I find them pretty frequently and they are definitely something that you can make some good money on, especially name brand ones like these ones being Whirlpool. I knew would sell really fast. So 25 bucks for six of them into around 150 bucks after uh, fees and everything. Profit is a fantastic score for a garage sale. Here's that Amazon Kindle that I picked up at that church sale that was in the middle of the community sale. I picked up the uh, manga at the same sale as this one. This thing was marked a as a first generation Amazon Kindle. I opened up the back of it and looked at, took it out of the case and everything, looked at it. It was actually a third generation, which means it was worth a little bit more. And it did end up working. Everything worked perfectly on it, char plugged it in. It wasn't tied to anybody's account or anything, so that is fantastic got a full price of $70 out of this thing. Now, it took about a week and a half to sold, sell because you know there's just a ton of models of Kindle out there. There wasn't many of this specific one out there because this one actually had the keyboard on it, which was a little bit unusual. The ones with the keyboard on there are worth a little bit more than the ones without it, so keep that in mind when you're looking at this stuff. But it's still a very fast sale and a very, very good profit. Like I said, I think I got this for like it was like two or five bucks or something like that, and I turned it into 70 bucks. So Kindles, no matter the model, is probably gonna be worth picking up at like $5 and under. You're gonna make money on it, but just make sure you are testing it and make sure you are making sure that somebody's account isn't linked to the Kindle when you go to sell it because that, that could lead to some problems. Again, from that same sale that I picked up the Kindle and the manga at was this vintage Paradise Found Hawaiian t-shirt. This actually sold in like 
I don't know, two hours of me listing it. I probably could have got a little more for it. Now, I had a few of you guys tell me that you thought this was the Magnum PI one. I actually know the Magnum PI one that he's famous for wearing in the movie. It's like a reddish one, but it is the same brand as this one. This one just had some parrots. It was really bright and colorful, and this was the only one of this specific pattern that was on eBay, so I asked a little bit of a higher price than what I was able to that I would have been able to ask on a on a more common shirt. I put this one at $45. I thought it would, I would get around $35 out of it when I picked it up the sale. Listed at $45 and like I said, it sold within like two hours of me listing it. I probably could have asked a little more out of it, honestly. But either way, great sale for that one because I think I paid like a dollar or two for this thing. So look out for Vintage Paradise Found Hawaiian t-shirts. Here's what the tag looks like if you guys want to know and want to see what to look for. It's a really good tip for you guys when you're looking at Hawaiian shirts. Many of them aren't worth anything, but if you see ones that say like Made in Hawaii or Honolulu or something like that, it's probably worth picking up because those are the ones that will typically be worth more, especially the vintage ones. The more modern day ones, not so much, but vintage Made in Hawaii shirts sell extremely well. All right, here we have another bread and butter item. This is a Sony Walkman. This goes right along with like inks and video games and stuff. You should be looking for this because you're gonna find them at a lot of different yard sales. If it's a Sony brand, if it's a Walkman, or if it's like a Discman, they're all gonna sell for some pretty good money, usually over 15 bucks for almost any different model. You can find these ones like this that are CD based or you can get the cassette ones, which also sell very well. I actually sold a cassette one from a while ago. If you go back way back on my Instagram, you'll see it. But I sold a cassette one for like, I think it was like four or five hundred bucks for a specific cassette player of a Sony Walkman. But this one was a cheaper model. Model. This one sold for twenty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. Took about a week and a half to sell, and they are just always good money makers. Make sure you are testing them. Put some batteries in there. Put a CD that in there. Make sure the headphones work, jack works because. If it does, you're probably gonna make a profit on it. You can usually pick these up at a garage sale for a buck or two, no problem. All right, you're probably noticing a little pattern here. A lot of these things that I'm picking up are like small little electronic gadgets, and that's because everybody's always upgrading their stuff. They're trying to get the newest, the latest, the greatest, and Fitbits are no exception. Fitbit One is not the newest model, however, it is one that has held its value very well. I paid $10 for this at the sale, and I got about 80 out of it. Now, there are some older Fitbits that are in like the $20 to $30 range, but I mean, in general, as long as they're working and holding a charge and stuff, you're gonna be able to make some money on them. How you figure out what model it is, this one obviously had the box with it, but if you just find the Fitbit itself like this, what you wanna do is flip it over on the back and take a picture of the really tiny small text in there, in there you'll find a uh, model number as you can see right here this model was FB103 and that tells me that it was a Fitbit one I tested it it charged it counted the steps and everything so this one was a great find and definitely something that you can find because people like I said are always upgrading their stuff and here we have another electronic gadget this is a pair of wireless headphones these are the Samsung gear circles I found these at a garage sale this past weekend for five dollars when I opened them up, they basically looked brand new. I thought they might have been brand new, except that you can see a little bit of wear there on the ears. <laughs> when I asked how much they were, she yelled back to her husband. She's like, hey, how much do you want for these headphones that I bought you only wore once? He's like, I don't know, five bucks? And I was like, sold. It listed these on eBay the same day, sold them for 40 bucks overnight, and yeah, headphones are just gonna sell. There's certain kinds of headphones, like these gear circles, or obviously like AirPods, or Beats or skull, certain Skull Candy headphones, Sennheisers. Learn those kinds of brands because you'll find them relatively often. I sell headphones pretty frequently during the summer because I find them all over the place at garage sales because like I said, people are always upgrading to the next and the best headphones and the, the old ones still hold value. And this was a pretty cool piece. So it was also a little bit of a confusing piece actually. This is a the North Face Audio Beanie and I found this at a garage sale and I knew I was going to buy it because it was a brand new North Face beanie, but I'd never seen one with a 35 millimeter audio jack coming out of it. So you can see right there, there's an audio jack that came out the bottom of the hat and it ran up into the hat and there's a little speaker where your ear would be. Never seen it before, didn't know North Face did anything like that. Apparently they did, but it wasn't a great seller, so there's not a lot of them out there. I didn't have any sold comps to go off of and there was like one other one listed that was in like a green color. so. I just kind of threw it up at 50 bucks hoping it would sell and 
it sold I think it sold overnight it was it was definitely within two days but I'm pretty sure it sold overnight for the full 50 bucks which I was fine with because I paid two bucks for it at the garage sale but it was brand new with tags and it was just something unique to look for obviously the North Face is a great brand whether or not it had the audio jack or not at two dollars but it being new and being something electronic from North Face <laughs> I'm gonna take that all day all right, next up here we have a RWO Xbox One Hori Racing Pedal and Steering Wheel Set. Now, I didn't actually look this up at the sale. It was $10, so I figured an Xbox One Racing Set was probably worth picking up at $10. And because I saw that it was a Hori controller, which if you don't know what it is, it's a pretty good thing to look for when you're looking at like uh, GameCube or N64 controllers and Xbox controllers are no different. They, uh, they, they put out some pretty quality products that are used by more higher end gamers and this racing wheel was no exception to that. I paid $10 like I said for the set and it sold for a best offer of $89.99 plus $25 shipping and it sold within two days of me listing it which is awesome. I still haven't shipped this one out because it sold today so after I'm done vi filming this video I'm probably actually going to end up shipping this one out so great sale there. Couldn't ask for a better one. That was a very quick flip and something that you want to remember when you're looking at video game stuff is it's not only the games and consoles that sell. There are some very good accessories out there that sell for some good monies. Another um, example that are like the arcade fighting sticks. Some of those hold some very good money as well. So make sure you're looking at the accessories too, not just the games and the consoles. All right, here we have the last item of the video, and this one might surprise some of you guys, especially if you're new to reselling. You probably haven't seen this kind of stuff or wouldn't have thought this stuff had value. This is a old school like cassette recorder. It's a Sony Handycam. But you can see the model right there, CCD TR67 Video 8 camcorder. These are definitely not the stuff that is used today. People are recording on their phones, on their GoPros, on their digital cameras and stuff. Not on these tape stuff, but they still sell well and that's because people use them to transfer their old home movies onto like VHS tapes or VCRs or they're using them for the night vision functions which a lot of more modern day cameras don't come stock with anymore. These things still have uses and people are willing to pay up for those uses. As you can see right here, this sold for $175 overnight. I paid $5 for this at an estate sale over the weekend, and I'm not even joking, sold within 25, 24 hours for $175. That is a fantastic profit right there. Now I did get it home, I plugged it in right away, made sure the battery held its charge, made sure the functions work, you want to test the zoom, make sure it records stuff, and this one ended up having the manual and like the little remote with it and stuff, which you know helped it out a bunch. but. Don't walk past this stuff, guys, because even though this looks like something that's probably outdated and it's in that weird category where it's not vintage vintage yet, you know, like the 60s and 70s audio equipment, it looks like your dad's handy cam that he used to film you with when you were growing up making those home movies so you wouldn't think it had so much value, but it definitely does. Resellers walk by these things all the time and every single year I make good money reselling these kinds of things. A lot of them you're gonna find are in like the 40, 50, 60 dollar ranges, which still isn't bad if you're picking it up at five bucks, but every once in a while you're gonna find these models like this one that sell for some very good money, like 100 plus, 150 plus models, which, I mean, you can't beat. So keep an eye out for these handy cams when you're out at the garage sales. You'll find them pretty often, and a lot of them hold value. But that's going to go ahead and wrap things up. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, please leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you learned or what your favorite item was. I would love to hear that kind of stuff or if you have anything that you picked up over the weekend, I'd love to hear about that as well. Otherwise, thanks for coming out. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.